Good morning everyone. I've literally got the sun, beautiful sun, but it was in my eyes. <sighs> Good morning, happy Easter Sunday. I'm in like my rough clothes at the moment. Um, we're hosting a little Easter tea party. I've also got, literally this hoodie needs to be washed. I've got just, it's just a rough, like just dirty. It just needs washing, which will be, it will be washed, um, it will go in the wash today. So yes, it's Easter Sunday today and George and I are hosting a little Easter tea party for my mum, stepdad, aunt and uncle, which will be really lovely. I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, this is the next part of our, our, little, our little vlog together. I had such a good time in the garden yesterday. I'm going to take you around in a moment and just show you because I did um, one more other change in the garden. So... Good morning. I'm really thirsty today because last night George and I had fish and chips for tea because after I'd been in the garden and had a bath and washed my hair, I was so tired. There was absolutely no way that I was even going to attempt to stand in the kitchen and cook. So that was not going to happen. Today we are going to be doing some baking and making. I'm going to make the front room into a little Easter little setting. Um, we've got little Easter gifts for people. Everyone has got a little Kinder Bunny and also a little Lint chocolate bunny, which I'm thinking of putting around the front room. And when they come in, I say, right, go and find your Easter bunny, at your Easter bunnies. You've got one each. And you have to go find them. You have to go and get them. I don't know, something silly like that. <laughs> it would be just fun. So, yes, I'm going, I've am going. i got to do some Easter baking. So I'm thinking of doing some, like, cheese and leek muffins. I saw this Instagram, uh, this recipe on Instagram. So I'm thinking of doing that. She makes it into a bread. And I did that last weekend, but it was just a bit... It just wasn't very neat. So I'm thinking of changing it and making muffins instead. And also we're doing little Easter chocolate nests. What else? I've written it on the list here, on my list. Easter nests, I've done my biscuits. Mum's bringing some appetizers. George is on sandwich duty and I'm doing deviled eggs. Oh my gosh, everyone. I also did homemade lemon curd yesterday. You briefly saw it yesterday. And oh my gosh, honestly, it's so good. I will link the recipe below because it's really easy to follow. Really, really simple and easy. And it tastes so much better than a shop bought. It's homemade. Oh, Arthi, I nearly tripped over you. Arthi, you say happy Easter to all your friends. Say happy Easter, Arthi. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter from Arthi. Go on then. <laughs> so yeah, let's go out in the garden and then and I'll show you what I've done. And then I'm going to go upstairs and chill out for a little bit, edit some reels, then get ready. No, I'm then going to come down and do my baking because George will have had his breakfast then. Then we'll get ready and do some baking and, and get ready. The clocks went forward last night, so I'm all a bit discombobulated and a bit tired still, so. But let's go in the garden. Also, I can't get over how mild it is out here. It's so mild. That means warmer days are coming. So first of all, I wanted to show you my blueberry plant. So this is absolutely filled with buds like this. It, the whole thing is covered. We're going to have so many blueberries this year. It's just covered and it's when the flowers come, it's going to look so pretty. And I don't know if you can see, they're already starting to come, look. These are all going to be blueberries, covered. My raspberry plant, that's growing as well. That's doing really, really well. That needs to all go to the skip, so just ignore that. So, as you know, I moved the greenhouses. They used to be over here, but they kept falling over when it was a windy day, like really bad. So I've put them here in the hopes that they will not fall over. I've also put in a 
um, watering can that's filled with water and I've just put some heavier things in there to hopefully keep them upright. I need to actually close them. But then the bench used to be here. Ah, oh, see. There was a bench that used to be here with a table but what we're going to be having it's called an arbor and it's basically like another seating area but it's undercover yes arthur you stay there it's undercover so i'll be able to sit out in all weathers and it's so beautiful it came from my mum and stepdad's house because they didn't want it and i can't wait for it to arrive so that is actually going to go in this space just here also for my birthday i've asked my aunt and uncle for an offense for my birthday <laughs> so down the garden path the potato bags are ready I'm just going to add some more potato bags and also some um, fertilizer to help the potatoes grow the raised beds are both getting two more bags of compost each to get them filled up and ready and then I've moved the bench to here so it it looks so lovely and I know it's like literally in the hedge right now however when the sun comes out it's a proper sun trap so it's going to be so lovely and I just want to get one of those cushions that goes all the way across I think so that'll make it really comfortable and we've got the table there so we can come out in the morning we could either sit here in our little area here that we've created or we can sit here and have a coffee and just enjoy what we have created and honestly everyone the garden is just so amazing and it's so lovely just the difference of how it's transformed in the like two years that we've been here like when we first moved here this garden just did not look like this at all and I just I'm so in love with it every single time eventually in the future we're going to have an outdoor office at the back here for George but that will be in the future future not not soon at the moment anyway hello bean you're going to stay there today you had to stay there, be a good boy. Let's go back inside. So, yeah, with that, I'll see you all when we're about to do some baking. So, we are now back and we're going to do these. It's She's called it cheese and leek bread, but we're actually going to try and do muffins with these. So, if I can link the Instagram reel below, I will. Um, yeah, I will really try and link that. But it's very easy simple ingredients and when we did make it it was really delicious and we liked it but it was just just didn't look very it didn't look very appetizing so i'm hoping if i do it with make muffins out of it it will look better so i've got all my ingredients out that i need so yeah i'm gonna start doing it Okay, I can't guarantee these are gonna come out well. We're just gonna try. We're just gonna experiment and try, and if this does not work, 
I'm going to put the rest of the mixture into a loaf tin and cook it like that. But let's just see what happens with these. So, <laughs> my theory didn't quite work out. But it's okay, everyone. It's okay because we're going to... This is a practice run, so we're going to just put those away. And what I'm going to try and do instead is do some scones, like make them, instead of doing one big thing, because I think even if I do it in the um, loaf tin, I'm going to have the same problem. So, with the leftover dough, I'm just going to try and make scones, like savoury type scone thing. So if I just, we'll see how this goes. Right, let's see how these turn out. One quick thing I forgot to do, do the whole little milk wash on them. Let's see. Right then, so the next things, I don't need, I just need one of you out, I'm going to be doing are relatively easy, can't really mess these up. We're making little rice crispy cakes and deviled eggs, and I do deviled eggs all the time, so that will be fine. I'm also going to be getting a little George down because he is chief sandwich maker. He is so good at making sandwiches. Honestly, he's the best. So I'm going to get him to come down and do his sandwich duty in a minute. Just fill this bowl with water. Fill the flask up again. I'm going to bring this water to a boil and then add my six eggs. Okay, whilst the water is coming to a boil, we are going to do the little cracklies. We used to call them cracklies when I was little. So, pop the chocolate in a bowl. So, I got three of these from Lidl because I just thought... need more. Okay, I'm going to put this back in here and pop that in the fridge in a minute. So then I'm going to take that and then I need 50 grams of butter. I'm actually going to melt this. So this goes in the microwave and we melt it. Hello everybody, so my mum and stepdad are on their way because my mum is actually doing um, some food as well when she gets here, so yeah I'm going to get ready, get myself together and then I will show you what we've, we've been doing, I'm not going to be doing any cooking or baking with you guys now because our guests will soon be here and I want to um, spend time with them. I will show you our little Easter little 
decor because it is so cute and adorable so yeah i'm gonna get ready because otherwise i'll be waffling and then i'll show you the decor oh and this is the dress i'm wearing my favorite favorite dress and it's so springy so yeah this is the dress i'm wearing Hello everybody, I'm back in my pyjamas, my hair is tied up in a clip, everywhere is clean, tidied, everything's put away and I've got a little bit of Easter chocolate to enjoy and a bedtime tea. We've had such a lovely tea party, it was so nice having everybody over and um, we had really had lovely family moments. So. Yeah, it was really, really, really good. I am absolutely exhausted. It's 10 to seven, um, and obviously the clock's in forward today. So you better believe I'm going to be going to bed early tonight to catch up on that little sleep. Not that I missed, but just so I can get my body back into a normal rhythm again. So. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Whether I split this video into two parts, um, it just depends how long it's going to be. I may do that, but we'll see when I come to edit it. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for all of your love, kind wishes and support. And I really feel like now I'm ready to get back into filming properly. Oh, hey, Arthur. <laughs> back into filming properly. So there'll be another video next week. Again, whether if this is going to be a two-parter, I'm not sure yet. Um, but if it isn't, there'll be another homemaking vlog next week. And um, sadly, the weather this week is not so supposed to be so great. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get out into the garden to plant any produce. Um, but when I do, I will bring all of you along and we'll go through what I'm going to be planting together. Have a lovely rest of your Easter weekend. Well, it's already been and gone. So have a lovely rest of your weekend. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.